State Board Nail Technician Sculptured Nail Task is a Cosmo Ready video production. The proctor will read the following instructions. You will sculpt a nail on the little finger. You must use a manufacturer sealed, low odor or less odor monomer. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 20 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 10 minutes remaining. You will turn the hand toward the examiner to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Begin the task by sanitizing your hands. This is the same client, so you do not need to sanitize the mannequin hand. You will start off by removing any residual polish on the nail that you're going to sculpt. In this case, it's the pinky or the little finger. to push back the cuticle as you would on a normal client for a sculptured nail and we need to remove the shine so using your lock buffer would be an easy way to do this after you buff the nail the dust, the filings, and we're going to have to dehydrate the nail now. You can use alcohol for that. To apply the nail form. When you pack your kit, make sure to include more than one nail form. In some cases, you might find if you're nervous, you might tear the form as you're taking it off the backing. However, another issue could be that it's not going to want to stick to the mannequin hand. So when you dehydrate the nail, you might want to make sure that you have all the lotion off of that finger as well. Get your form to fit snugly. Once the form is on, you're going to throw out that garbage right away and always sanitize when you come back from the garbage. Next, you're going to set up your product supplies. So removing the cap from the powder and you're going to notice that this is still has a seal on it. So you're going to remove the seal and put it into a dampen dish. some of your supplies out of the way so that you have plenty of room. You want the examiner to see that you have a seal on your supplies for your acrylics. They may also ask to see them ahead of time before you set up. Put the powder that you're going to use in its own dish and then again seal up that container with the cap. Throw the garbage out. Sanitize. And also on this you're going to need to take the seal off of that as well. And you're 
going to transfer this also to a little dampened dish. And you're only doing one nail, so make sure you take enough to do the one nail. You don't need to fill the cup up all the way. Acrylic, you need to put the primer on the nail and please be very careful when you apply this notice she's bracing but also keep the primer off of the skin area so apply it just inside the nail edge so that you don't get it touching the skin when you're using your acrylic again this task is only 20 minutes long make sure that you're using a dry bead for the tip if the bead is too wet it's going to take a lot longer to dry so make sure that you're using a drier bead at the free edge also consider finding some competition speed product that might make it a little bit easier to firm up as you're working for state board it just might be hard to find it in the odorless version. So odorless comes first, competition speed would be second. So if you can find something like that, that would be good. And now you're going to form the nail. And you wanna look at it from all angles. So once you have it on there, take a look. Does it look like it's even throughout, over the top, turn the hand a little bit, and then Finish off and smooth it out with the product. is 20 minutes long your goal should be to complete the sculptured part of the nail service within 10 minutes at that point hopefully you can be cleaning up your supplies placing your cap on and letting that acrylic set up keep in mind temperature affects the setting so if it's cooler in the room it may take a little bit longer so you want to be aware of that you can test your acrylic to see if it's set by just slightly tapping on it with the file want to carefully remove the form and it might tap out nice on the top but you, it still might be a little damp underneath the form so you want to be aware of that if you made your acrylic ball too thin on the tip you could actually break the tip off so make sure that you have that dry ball and it's not too thin. Now you're going to finish up by filing the nail, making it smooth, shaping it. Make sure you're not filing the skin area, that you're just filing the acrylic. Don't seesaw and file real briskly across the top because if that were a client it could create heat and that would not be good so light short strokes like you see here are ideal 
clean up the edge by the skin area. And when it comes to shaping the tip, you're only doing one nail. So if the nail looks like it wants to have a round tip, you're gonna form it round. If it looks like it's gonna be a good square free edge, form it square. Let the form decide what you're gonna just shape it into. You don't wanna reshape it as you might actually like remove too much product and then it's not gonna look like you did a sculpture on that nail at all. So let the form decide the tip shape. Once you've formed the sculptured nail, you're going to buff over the top but also under that free edge because you need to bevel that in case there are any loose little filings of acrylic under there. Then we're going to apply a little bit of oil. Remember, do not let the bottle of the oil touch the nail. And once the oil is on, we're going to use the three-way buffer or four-way buffer, whichever one you have to smooth the nail to a shine. Once you are done buffing the nail, go ahead and dust it off. Make sure that there's no acrylic residue anywhere on top or underneath the nail. You can put your tools to be disinfected in the proper bag, your disposable items in the proper bag, and when you are done, turn the hand around for the examiner to see. That indicates you have finished. Nail Technician State Board Sculptured Nail Task has been a Cosmo Ready video production.